In this short video we're going to cover installation, setting up your options, including record your own voice workaround. As you may know, MSI Afterburner does not by default allow you to do that. The options that it provides by default will either allow you to record your game and not your voice or your voice and not your game. The installation is pretty straightforward unless you have EVGA Precision X running in the background. MSI Afterburner and EVGA's Precision X are pretty much a very very similar program that does most of the same things with the exception of MSI Afterburner being able to also record. EVGA Precision X have, have been approached about adding that capability to their software and have, have said that that's not likely to occur due to quote ex exclusivity. So you would want to exit Precision X if, if you have that running to avoid installation error uh, of MSI Afterburner. Okay, let's talk about setting up your options. You would first want to go to Start, click on the MSI Afterburner folder, and click on MSI Afterburner on-screen display server. That is likely to minimize your system tray, and you can bring it up from there. Here is where you set up what you see on the screen while you have MSI Afterburner running, uh, and while you have MSI Afterburner recording what you're doing on the screen. Some of the options are pretty straightforward. I'm not going to go over them. As far as I understand, the application detection level has a uh, has to do with applications detecting this program running in the background. I left that to low and I put it on stealth mode to avoid any possibility of or to decrease the possibility of punk buster or other anti-cheat software detecting it mistakenly. As far as I understand 2D has to do with desktop, 3D has to do with your 3D applications such as games. Here in the options you'll notice that every time you, sc you scroll over something in this portion of the options and in MSI screen capture options and video recording options it brings up a, a little description and some tips for how you can best use the option. This is a, a zoom you, you'll probably want to make it bigger than the default setting is pretty small. You can also change the location by dragging it anywhere on your screen and the color to whatever your preference is. Once you have those options set up, you can safely minimize this and then go to your system tray, open up MSI Afterburner. Here you go to settings, on-screen display, here you basically are telling the software whether to include the, the system's statistics, uh, frames per second, etc. that you're seeing MSI displaying on your screen as part of the recording. Leave this to off unless you want those in your recording. Uh, that tends to make your recording busier and more distracting. Then you would go to video capture. First you can select a on and off button to start and end recording your video format I left it at the default option this has to do with the quality of your recording the higher it is the more lag you're likely to experience depending on your system specifications while you're recording uh, so if you start if you leave it at the default and you find that that's too laggy for you based on what you're doing in the game start decreasing it until you you like the performance that you're seeing Another setting that has a lot to do with that is the frames per second, how many it captures. If you look at my first videos, those were pretty much all of them were at 60 frames per second. I found that to be laggier than ideal um, while, while playing, so I found that a setting of 40 was better. The higher the, the frames per second, the better you'll be able to later play with slow motion effects and things like that at the cost of using up more system resources and possibly causing some lag. Frame frame size, it's best to have that aspect ratio to the same setting that you plan to then later render and upload your video with. I found that this works better. With full frame, you sometimes have to choose between having two black lines on the sides of your screen or um, having your image stretched out in order to fill the screen. 16 by 9 720p worked pretty well for my uh, screen and for uh, uploading those to YouTube without such problems. Here is an area where you can select a different 
recording location than your operating system drive and that's something that if you're able to do it if you have two drives record on the second one that's going to be uh, give you better performance than if you're recording on the same drive that that your operating system and game is running on the audio options of MSI Afterburner are less than ideal you're basically from what from what I was able to find out and experience only able to select between recording the game sounds the in-game voice communications but not your own voice or you can select a different setting and even though the description will tell you that it would allow you to record both it only allows you to record your voice there is a workaround for this and that I will show you first you need to go to start go to control panel find your sound options go to recording find your microphone click on it to highlight it click on properties click on the listen tab and click on listen to this device and click apply when you do do that you're likely to start hearing your own voice and that can be kind of annoying and distracting in game if the game is kind of is loud like battlefield 3 for example uh, you also may not you may not be loud enough for you to hear yourself and distract yourself but it also may not be loud enough to be heard by uh, your viewers of your video. As you can see in some of my videos, sometimes you can hear the in-game communications and sometimes you do not. But that is a valid workaround that's likely to work well if you're, if you're doing in-game live commentary and it allows you to include your own voice. Um, some people have suggested lowering the volume of your mic. That might work in terms of you not hearing yourself uh, but people in game will also not hear you if you're trying to, to communicate with them so that's likely to work only if you're doing uh, live commentary okay let's briefly talk about the pros and cons obviously as you've just seen one of the cons for MSI Afterburner is the lack of uh, proper voice recording support and uh, the fact that you have to that you're forced to look around for workarounds and again the end result is not as good as you as you can achieve with default setting in other recording programs that being said MSI Afterburner has very low resource consumption compared to fraps and uh, other softwares the reports are that it, it does better at consuming less of your system resources and therefore resulting in less lag while you play Another big uh, pro is it's free and it does not include any limitations with its uh, free version because its only version is a free version. Fraps has length of the recording limitation, uh, Playclaw has a free version uh, but it has limitations for your options and also an annoying scrolling Playclaw uh, signature that, that goes up and down your screen while you record and of course they do that to to force you to buy their full version MSI Afterburner provides you with a great way to record your game without the, the cost of any of those kind of limitations if you like this video please subscribe share it with your friends if you think that there are important uh, details that were missed please include those in the comments thanks for watching